Hey, it's Megan. Welcome back to the channel, my friend. In this video, I'm sharing over 20 hacks and ideas using $1 items. These are tried, true, legit <laughs> hacks that for real are gonna work. I know, because I use them in my own home. They may not be Pinterest perfect, but I promise you they're very practical. I wanna start this video off with one of my newer found loves when it comes to organizational items from Dollar Tree, which are these book rings. They're a pretty common, easy to find item, which is always a plus. And one of the easiest ways to use them is just string a bunch of them up, pair it up with one of Dollar Tree's over the door hooks, or just you hang it in your closet. And this is great because you can hang additional hangers or you can use it to organize scarves and belts, but also, it's not taking up any of that hook real estate. <laughs> so you can still hang your purses or jackets or whatever else you wanted to hang over the door or use them to store your ponytail holders, hang them on a hook or just throw them in a drawer like I do. I usually don't grab for a new ponytail holder until I lose the one I always have on my wrist. <laughs> but you can also use these to make items that already have clips or hooks more functional or more universal to be used with all hooks, like the measuring tape or my brooms and dust pans, which they would fit on these hooks, but I'd have to do some really weird maneuvering to get them to actually stay on there. But more recently, I've been using this for the Roku remotes in our house. And for your larger remotes, remember, you can always use Dollar Tree's phone ring holder. They have a strong hold. They fit most standard size remotes. I do this in my craft room and in the kids' playroom. Now for my living room, I don't use this hat because I don't put hooks all over my living room, but I do put this on a Dollar Tree tray. It kind of keeps them together. They always have a spot. It's nice, it's organized. And yeah, like I said, it looks nice. Next, these magnetic pockets are great for laundry organization. They're magnetic, so they stick to any washer or dryer. Throw your little dryer sheets in there, and this makes it so convenient and easy, especially if you are like me and you don't have a large laundry room, or actually, I don't even have a laundry room. Our laundry is kind of off in the corner, also shared with our pantry. Very practical and very organized. These magnetic hooks are also great for organization. I use them in our laundry room for the snake, for the drain and the fly swatter, something we need easy access to, but I don't want it to be seen and I don't want to have it hanging really close to anything else because they're both kind of nasty. <laughs> now, if you pick up any one of Dollar Tree's MDF signs, flip it over the back, you can paint it, optional, I paint it mine white, and some of Dollar Tree's napkin rings. These are found in the catering section. These can also be painted the color of your choice. Obviously, I chose black. Just use a boatload of hot glue and attach these to your sign. Pair those up with the mini glasses also found in the catering section, which fit perfectly into the little rings. You can store your tweezers, your lip gloss, eyeliner, and the rings fit most standard size brushes. But if they don't, that's okay. Most brushes have a hook on the bottom. Add some hooks to the bottom of your sign, call it a day. For spring, Dollar Tree will carry these 20 count garden clips found in the gardening section, which work great as gardening clips. But because of the wide mouth grip, small and big sizes work really well for chips and for crackers for smaller bags. When they're not in use, you can clip them to the side of your pantry bins or to the side of your pantry shelf so they don't get lost. And by the way, just as plant clips, these are also a great deal. Like at Amazon, they got 60 sold for $8, but at Dollar Tree, you'd only need to pay $3. Another great clip from Dollar Tree are their clothespins. Now this didn't work out well for me for chip clip storage because it didn't open wide enough. But if you take them with any one of Dollar Tree's MDF signs or a thin wood strip, hot glue them to the back and then hang that on the wall like in your garage or in a little cabinet. This is great for work glove, cleaning glove, any type of glove storage. You can even put this in a closet for hats and gloves. And it takes up minimal space and a great way to keep your gloves together. These mesh bags from Dollar Tree are such a huge win. They're sold in the summertime. They're a decent size and they're really sturdy. More recently, we've been using these for the kids' laundry and this works really well. Hook over the door. It doesn't take up much space. And if you like to micro sort your laundry, just add a garden clip hook and you can store two bags. I also use these in the garage, paired up with some of Dollar Tree's wall hooks. 
for bats and balls and gloves work so many purposes and this works out really well too we've done this for over a year for this next one you just need any of dollar tree's laundry bins or any large bin you already have on hand take yourself on down to dollar general <laughs> and grab one of their three dollar plant trolleys these are metal they have wheels on them all you need to do is snatch up some zip ties which is also sold at dollar tree and attach the wheels to the bottom of your laundry bin I don't use ours for laundry. I use this for like planting soil and stuff out in the yard. But for the larger bins, I also did the same thing. If it doesn't have holes, just take a drill or I used my hot glue gun to poke holes in the bottom. And this works out just the same. We have these in the bottom of our pantry to store water, toilet paper, paper towels. And look, y'all, I'm telling you, it's such a life changer to have bins on wheels. It makes it so much easier to clean, easier to pull in and out. So this would be great for any tight storage space or where you're storing something in a closet. Next, these metal clips from Dollar Tree are great. If you have a purse, just clip your keys to your purse. I'm always losing my keys. This helps me out a lot. In a past video, I've shown where I also use Dollar Tree's toothbrush holders to hold pens and pencils in my purse so they don't bust or break. But it also helps when finding stuff in my purse. My purse is never organized. I pretty much just carry around a bag of trash. So this makes my life a lot easier. These fridge soda can storage bins are probably <laughs> one of the best buys for a dollar at Dollar Tree. I don't use these in my refrigerator. I use them in my pantry to store my canned goods. And in my opinion, this works better than storing your canned goods on step shelves because I'm not knocking anything over to grab it. I can store more and I separate mine by item. I pretty much only buy the same types of cans. So I got beans, soup, tomatoes, tuna, and one for extra. I can see what I have and I never overbuy. Dollar Tree sells their brand of command hooks or wall hooks, or you can get the name brand from Dollar General. These are paired perfectly with Dollar Tree's shelf risers or shelf organizers. The shelf organizers are a great idea, but it's frustrating because whenever you pull something out that's heavy, like pots or plates or bowls, it moves the shelf organizer. And that, that just kind of defeats the purpose of making life more easier. Add a few of these wall hooks, it keeps it in place and it makes it a million times more functional. I also do this for under the shelf storage bins. Now the storage bins aren't from Dollar Tree. I got those from Dollar General, but they work just the same or use it in your drawers like I'm doing in my bathroom drawer. So I have one of Dollar Tree's dish racks that I use to organize my flat iron and curling irons. And I keep that in place with some of the wall hooks. Speaking of dish racks, <laughs> these really are, these are one of the best. Right next to the binder rings, this is my next favorite because you can store wallets, you can organize your flip-flops or work shoes, hang them upside down on the wall to do trash bags or contact paper, hang them over your door to maximize storage and organizational space for gift wrap, or hang them upside down in a cabinet for under the cabinet storage. But one of my favorite ways to use these is to turn them into like a file folder. So push the dividers upwards, hang them on your wall. Then you can organize receipts, put them in a cabinet to organize, organize, <laughs> organize your lids. We also use these everyday real life. It really works for our mail. And this is such a great deal, not only because it's a simple hack, but it's also a money saving hack. Even the cheapest, most basic wall organizers are 10 to $15. So that's a money saver for sure. Dollar Tree's hook and loop, AKA their brand of Velcro. Put those on the bottom of any organizing tray you can snatch up from Dollar Tree and put this in a drawer or a shelf. This takes your everyday awesome organization into above marvelous organization because you can shake your drawers and look, it's not going anywhere. I do the same thing in my pantry on the bottom little bins where the kids are grabbing snacks. I don't want them moving around, but the Velcro's there, it's not moving. But if you do want to remove it to clean it, all you gotta do is give a strong tug. Dollar Tree's metal bins are one of the best buys. Because it's metal, it's easily spray painted. And because it's metal, it's sturdy. So I just took a staple gun and stapled them to a spare piece of wood I got for free from a neighbor. And that's how I organize a lot of my craft supplies, like my paints, my hot glue gun, my staple gun. 
but I know not everyone has such nice neighbors that give away free wood all the time. So just so you know, <laughs> Home Depot does sell their scrap wood for less than a dollar. So less than a dollar is better than Dollar Tree in my opinion, but hopefully you can find some free scrap wood from a neighbor. Dollar Tree step shelves, I talked about, I'm not down with these for canned storage, but if you push the legs backwards, put this into a bin or a drawer, you can use this to organize things like medication or your spices. So legit, here's my medication cabinet before, and here's what it looks like afterwards. Same amount of medication, but it just looks so much more organized and easier to see. Dollar Tree's toothbrush holders are also a great win for shower organization because it has the two holes on each side and then two indentions on both sides. The suction cups are super strong. My only complaint is they're so strong that when I removed it to clean the shower, I did crack that. So there you go, heads up. Be careful when you remove it to clean your shower. Pair these up with some of Dollar Tree or Dollar General's S hooks. Put it in your shower and if you are like me and you have a very small shower, but you share it with multiple people that also have their own bath and body stuff in this shower, this is great for small space organization and extra storage. Pegboards are amazing. They look great. They're beautiful to organize your home with, but they can get kind of pricey. Now the pegboards themselves are not super expensive. It's all the pegs and the tools that you need to hang the pegboard that really adds up in price. Just so you know, <laughs> you can pretty much get the same look and the same effect just using some nails from Dollar Tree or Dollar General, even Walmart. Nails are so cheap. Just take them, nail them into some scrap wood or some plywood, which by the way, Home Depot for four feet by eight feet, you can get a long piece of plywood for under $13 and Home Depot will cut the wood for you. Most stores will make three cuts for free. A lot of stores will do all cuts for free. You can also take this up a notch by getting some of Dollar Tree's metal cup organizers found in the office section and some more of their wall hooks, just like I used for the bat, ball, and glove organization and just nail this to a piece of plywood. Now, this isn't anything that I would share on Instagram and get a bunch of likes, <laughs> but it's definitely something that my family likes because it works and it's functional and it's cheap. I've made a few other videos totally dedicated to $1 organizational hacks and ideas. I'll have those up to the left and to the right. You can click on those, watch them next. And I need to know from you, what do you wanna see next? Now I got a few ideas for dollar spring DIYs, but I also have a few friends and family members that are looking to have their pantries, their closets organized, and I can do that just the same. So you let me know. Thank you so much for watching my friend.